Hey dolls, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another get ready with me. Well, I always have a get ready with me for you. Don't forget, I do upload two get ready with me videos a week. Today I have this look. It's more of a sparkly champagne look. I got two new palettes that I'm really excited about and I've been playing with the glitter like crazy. And before we move on to the video, I'd like to thank today's sponsor who made this beautiful look possible. And that is hip dot i recently received two of their palettes the first one is the crystals palette which is this bad boy right here and then i also have the zion palette and the crystals palette i am freaking obsessed with you guys i mean it is just an all crystals palette i mean look how beautiful that is they have vibrant high performance beauty products and they're really affordable so for these two palettes they were each $30 but they both contain 15 different shades. They're cruelty free, vegan and also free of talc, mineral oil, parabens, synthetic fragrances so no bad stuff. And also another great thing about the palettes is that they actually stand up on their own. All you do is pull the back out so it's very functional which is great and HipDot has actually been kind enough to offer my subscribers 10% off if you use the code HIP. 10 so be sure to click the link in the description box below check out all their products thank you so much hip dot for sponsoring this video all right dolls if you're not subscribed please be sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification to be notified when i upload videos all right dolls let's get into this get ready with me okay dolls so to first get started i am going to part my hair like i always do i always like to start from the bottom and then work my way up. I am using my one inch Lioness Beauty Curling Iron. This uh, model is discontinued. They only have a wand now. I have not tried the wand, but just get a one inch curling iron. It doesn't matter. And I'm taking large two inch, about one inch to two inch sections and curling my hair and then setting them with some pins. I'm working my way to the sides. And then moving on to the back, I curl all the way up to the crown and then I'm going to leave that top section alone because that is going to be my bangs or my swirl or my wave, whatever you want to call it. Next, I am curling my bangs and I'm going to curl them in the direction that I want the wave to flow. And this is what you should have. Then I'm going to let that set and start working on my makeup. So to get started on makeup, I'm taking, taking my Shadow Work Aging Pop. Serum. And this is actually a serum that I got at a witch walk here in downtown Santa Ana that they have every third Saturday of the month. And once I place that, I am taking my Kat Von D Hydrating Primer and applying that on top of the oil. And now I'm taking my Kat Von D Lock Concealer and applying that on the tail ends of my brows and underneath my eyes. I apply it on the tail ends of my brows because I like to change the shape. I want them a bit more flared out. Getting all tongue tied. My Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge and just blending that out. Next, I'm going in with my Urban Decay Stay Naked Weightless Foundation. I am actually shocked with how much I love this foundation. I got it free at an Urban, Urban Decay event, and I honestly didn't think I was going to like it because it felt so light, but it actually covers really well, and it lasts all day. So um, this one's a shade too dark, so I need to go a little bit lighter, but I am really loving it. And here I'm taking my Pretty Vulgar Translucent Powder and just setting that foundation. Going in with my Benefit Cosmetics 3D Brow Tones Instant Color Highlights Gel. Applying that on my brows and this is just going to darken them up. Now I'm taking my Kat Von D 24 Hour Super Brow Pomade and this one's in the shade Dark Brown. The other one I used to use was in the shade Walnut, but I went a tad bit lighter with this Dark Brown and I think it matches my brows perfectly. For my brow bone highlight, I'm taking this Urban Decay Naked Petite Heat Palette and I am using the shade Inhale to highlight my brow bone. Now 
Next, I'm going in with the Hip Dot Zion palette and I'm using the shade Maze. And this one's just going to be a transition shade. Next, I'm going in with the shade Canyon, and this is more of a burnt orange shade, and this is just going to deepen. So we're slowly going to start building that color in the crease. Now I'm taking the shade Grounded and applying that even closer into my crease using a smaller smudge brush, and then I'm going to blend that out. And now going in with the shade of Vibration, which is a darker brown, applying that again with a smudge brush and into the crease. And then slowly blending that out. For my lid, I am taking this beautiful gold champagne shimmer shade in the shade virgin and i am so in love with it you can just see how beautiful and sparkly it is and then i'm just going to blend the inner corners out a bit going back in with vibration i am applying that at the ends and then blending that out Here I'm taking Virgin and applying that on my lower lash line. And then I am taking Grounded and applying that on the outer corner and then taking Vibration and deepening that shade. Now I'm going with my Urban Decay Eyeliner in the shade Lucky and applying that on my waterline. And then I'm taking my Lorella Cosmetics Highlight in the shade Ice. Now I am taking Tiger's Eye from the Crystals palette and applying that over the gold shimmer and just look how much it just amplifies that gold. It is so beautiful. I'm telling you guys, the camera is not doing it justice. It is incredible when you see it in person. You're just sparkling all over. And then I'm also applying that on the inner corner lower waterline as well. And it really just makes the eyes pop. Now I'm going in with my NYX Matte Liquid Liner and creating a wing. And here I'm taking my Kat Von D Go Big or Go Home Mascara, but you can apply whatever mascara because we are going to put on some falsies. Here I'm taking my Profusion Sculpt and Glow, and this is in the shade Medium Sculpt. And now I'm taking my Profusion Blush and Glow 2 palette and using the shade Fantasia. Going back in with Lorella Cosmetics Ice, using that as my highlight. And then for lashes, I'm taking my Vamp Lashes in the, sh in the shade, <laughs> in the style Eerie. And then applying some mascara on the lower lash line. Now for lips, I am taking Carity's Tick Tick Boom Matte Liquid Lipstick. I wanted to go up with a bit darker red as opposed to the more vibrant red that I normally use. And here is the final makeup look. Just look how sparkly those eyes are. Going back to hair, I'm going to start unpinning, and when you unpin each section, you are then going to tease that section. This is just a comb that I purchased at Sally's Beauty for like $3. And like I said, with each section that I unpin, I then tease.
Now here, once I'm done teasing all that, I am just taking my fingers and breaking up the curls so the curls are a bit more fluffy. And then spraying some hairspray so I can get those flyaways down. And then spraying the curls. This is my Chi Helmet Head Hairspray, my favorite hairspray of all time. And here I'm just spraying the sides because I always like to pull this side behind my ears. Moving on to the bangs, we are then going to tease each section, really focusing on the root. Once it's looking all wild and crazy, I'm taking a soft bristle brush and just combing down those flyaways and making everything smooth and using my hands to really help guide the curls and keep that wave really high and big. Then I'm taking a duckbill clip. This is the hair. Moving on to the outfit, I decided to wear my baby corset from what Katie did. Picture there is a waspy corset because they don't sell the baby corset anymore. But I like wearing this corset for a dramatic sort of darted waist. And just look how beautiful it looks in the dress. Normally, Jay um, laces me up, but he wasn't here, so he couldn't lace me up. So I was having a bit, uh, a bit of a difficult time. But just look how great it looks under this dress from Glamour But funny clothing it is just so glamorous and as you can see I could not reach again Jay wasn't here so I couldn't zip all the way up but the belt does come with the dress I don't believe they sell it on the website anymore I got this years ago but it is just so stunning the purple is just eye-catching and I fell in love with it so that is it for today's videos my love I really hope you enjoyed this look let me know what look you'd like to see from me next and don't forget Friday is Freaky Friday thank you dolls for all your continued love and support I love you so much and I will see you soon bye loves